Okay, so welcome back everyone. Um, before we do get into this next new season, um, I just wanted to take a couple seconds to actually apologize for the lack of uploads and videos. Uh, over the last uh, two and a half weeks, my life's gotten really, really busy lately. Lots of things coming up. However, Scorched Earth is out. And yes, I know this will be a bit of a late release for the first video for Scorched Earth. However, I have managed to cluster two servers together. One is, of course, the island. This is what uh, I've been working on in the last season. And of course, it is time to move over to Scorched Earth and give that a go. Of course, with that said, I am going to be going to go to scorched earth with absolutely nothing although i can and have allowed transfers i can transfer anything that i have here onto scorched earth i'm going to go with this character but this time around we're going to be doing it all naked and start fresh from zero but with the engrams that i've already unlocked i'm just quickly checking here to make sure everything is just the way i left it as it has been a while since i have last been on the server so everything seems to be in place just the way um, I remember it. Uh, just checking the food, making sure there's plenty of food in all of the feeding troughs. And uh, with that said, it's time to start prepping to move over to the new DLC. Okay, All right. I'm happy with everything. Everything seems to be just fine. I think the island will be, at least for now in the foreseeable future, a place that I will return back with. That said, of course, um, as you heard in the beginning of this video, this is now season two and uh, season two, I guess, will take place in the new DLC, which is, um, I feel like I've, I've said that name too many times, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it is Scorched Earth. So I've got everything ready. Um, I'm deciding if to go to the terminal and upload my character, but then I need to get there naked and stuff. So I think I might build a um i think it's transmitter or something like that okay i'm gonna throw everything i have onto this creature right here i am officially butt naked and with that said let the show begin here we have it this is the wonderful transmitter i think it is time to see what the desert has to offer me let's see Okay, so server's popping up. Everything seems to be ticking along nicely. And... Hello? Hello? Uh-oh. Oh, this is something I didn't see. Uh, <laughs> happening. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, it's doing something. Things are happening. Yeah, it's happening. Um, okay. I hope this does not crash. Okay. Oh, hello. Hey, ah, we made it to Scorched Earth. Wonderful. I feel like that is a place I want to spawn my survivor. Just as a side thought here, how bad and sorry would I feel for myself if I created a new survivor and deleted this one? <laughs> this desert wasteland was a turning point for Helena and her allies. It was here that her fellow explorer Rockwell began his spiral into darkness. If only Helena could have seen the threat that was so close to her, where Rockwell's experiments would lead. There's danger lurking beneath these sands, Survivor. Seek out this Ark's Guardian and find your way to where I'm waiting for you. Interesting. Well now, so we have a little intro. I like that. That's a very nice touch there. Alright. Ooh, here we are. Ooh, 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 ooh. Scorch, scorch, scorch. Hot, 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 hot. <laughs> okay. I have no idea where I am. Oh, things are... Okay, uh, I'm not sure what that was. That, that, mm, that can't be my computer. My computer is pretty powerful. Um, hmm. No clue what that was. Maybe it was just a game loading in. Anyways. Let's start gathering, and I uh, think the first thing I need to find will be water. That is for sure. Oh, water is depleting like crazy. I have no idea where I am right now. Okay, just gathering random resources. And I need to find water fast. 
Come on, tree. Come on. That's it, tree. You and me. Mano y mano. Mano y tree. <laughs> God, give me, give me, give me, give me. I'm gonna need you. Oh, you are one tough tree. Okay, well, I'll give that a go. <laughs> Can I craft anything useful? Uh, let me see here. Okay, we definitely need some clothes here. I feel a bit naked and a bit hot. Don't know if these will do much. But I guess something is better than nothing. Uh, let me see. Okay, a few things have changed here. Interesting. Don't know what these are. Okay, now that I'm dressed and have some basic tools, time to get some more resources. Still have not found yet water, but uh, it is depleting right quick. Okay, let me see, let me see. So running super depletes it, which is good to know. I guess uh, we're not supposed to be doing much running here. I think these things give me cactus sap, uh, which I can possibly use as a, for, uh, as a form of hydration. I guess I'm going to have to gather me some cactus sap. I, I don't know how I'm standing in this, by the way. Uh, if this is a cactus, that should be stinging my butt and other bits. But uh, <laughs> clearly I can stand in there. Um, let me see. Ooh, water. I've got water. Okay. Right, 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 right. So. I am going to use this as my focal point for the first base. I feel like it would be stupid to wander off, so I've got the most valuable resource next to me, which means I think it's time to set up base, uh, or at least a temporary base. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna have some shelter here. I, I've really not planned anything out. I think I'm gonna play it by ear. And uh, see where this takes me. Okay. That's the red obelisk. That's that there. Where's the green one? I think that might be blue there. Maybe, I don't know. I'm trying to figure out. So that's red, right? Green might be potentially there somewhere? No. It has been a long time since I've been on Scorched Earth. I have no idea where I am right now. And even if I didn't know Scorched Earth, I still probably wouldn't know where I'm. <laughs> supposed to be right so I can't build next to this water vein this sucks by the way how far is it gonna send me oh boy pretty far <laughs> okay so that is kind of the limit there okay fine and uh, let me see what if I build someone maybe around here hopefully okay so this would be the outer limit for building waters right that way um, let me see I think this would be good enough uh, it'll help me kind of have a good uh, line of sight on the water because I'm gonna be needing lots of it <laughs> gotta stay hydrated yeah that's right gotta stay hydrated okay let's go and drink okay building is coming along quite nicely so far so good and yeah we're getting this okay this is bad do i do lock myself in here can i get no oh ooh, ooh. i'm gonna need a roof oh boy <laughs> i forgot about these okay and i'm thirsty that is what i wanted to see oh boy this is gonna suck for me that's it let's put a roof on I'll lock myself in and hope that nothing bad wanders around okay I think I'm protected. I feel like I should be protected. Does lying down do anything? I think lying down will help with the water depletion. I feel like I want to say that that is a thing. I'm going to have to wait this one out. Uh, but uh, uh, mm, my torpor is rising. So the question is, what do I do? Do I wait here? I mean, I think I should be alright until I faint. Maybe a second time I heard something. Else. Okay, that was just a morale top. That's fine. <laughs> okay, panic over. 
Yeah, so the option I have is to try and run towards the watering hole that I found. Or with the bad weather out here. Um, I'm not sure how dangerous this weather is. But right now, as I don't have a bed, I don't really want to chance anything. So maybe waiting it out is the smartest thing to do. I'll tell you what, I don't think it's making a difference. Um, having a wall there. Okay. okay, so this is a sandstorm. Interesting. Now, I remember that sandstorms depleted your stamina, which it's not doing. So I must be having some form of shelter here. Uh, at least I get to see the sandstorm, sort of. Yeah, it's not that bad. I'll just wait it out here and just have a lie down on the ground. If I'm close to the ground, I'm guessing that'll be good for me. Um, thirst. <laughs> okay. Oh, this this might take a while. Yep. Yeah. I did, to some extent, miss these random weather events. Not gonna lie, does that to the challenge. And I'm watching my torpor, and it's not looking very promising. I might have to wander out and attempt to get a drink, but then I feel like I'd get lost if I do that. Okay, we have a basic setup here. And uh, I was gonna say, you notice that there's a raptor, so just a slight note here. Um, turns out that um, NVIDIA Shadow Play it's a bit fiddly in that sometimes it does not like certain websites. And because I had my browser open, it stopped randomly stopped recording. But let me fill you in on what happened. It's sad that it stopped doing that because something pretty interesting took place. Uh, of course, I did tame a Jerboa because uh, why not? I chased it around, punched it into submission. But then I was around there basically just chopping wood to make my shack here. And then this guy randomly attacks me. Now I run into my base and then it starts attacking the door. So I did have a club following the fight with the Jerboa, uh, which was very tough by the way. So yeah, right there, that tree right there, I was chopping it down. I uh, didn't finish chopping it down before I got jumped by the raptor that you see right here. So I ran into my shack thinking it'll protect me, thinking from uh, the island that the raptor will lose interest in me. Nope, it did not lose interest in me. It started attacking my door and damage numbers were coming out. So with the club that I had, I started clubbing it, taking it clubbing and all that sort of stuff until my club broke. Then it chased me into my base and uh, I realized that it was going to be me or the raptor. So basically I had a fist fight with the raptor and uh, I won because the raptor got knocked out. Of course, uh, I did have some meat from uh, things that I've killed. So with that said, I am going to name that this raptor I feel like that is such a good story I would have liked to have shown that sadly um, I blame that on Nvidia Shadowplay uh, not doing what it's supposed to but uh, yeah we have Tame Master 5000 and we have the Jerboa right here and we're gonna name you I feel like you're the first Jerboa so we're gonna call you Jerry I feel like a Jerry would uh, no, he's a Y. I like a Y. Y, yeah, Y is good. Yeah, that's it. Well done, Jerry. And Tame Master 5000 because we used 5000 punches to knock it out. <laughs> okay, let's go and uh, continue working on our little hut here. So my plan is uh, moving forward that uh, I am going to slowly convert this into Adobe and then after that uh, probably expand get some more times and then look for a better place to live all right let's see oh where's that running what's going on there why are you running you're bloody that is not good oh no 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 that is not the plural i am not messing with that oh god <laughs> i am absolutely not messing with that that thing will melt my armor and it is right close to my base. That is very worrying. I do not like that. I need to get rid of my neighbor. Uh, oh, I can hear it. I can hear it. Oh, that is close. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Oh, man. Where are you? I can hear it. Oh, God. Uh, that is really bad news for me. 
Oh god, I'm fat. Um, first things first, I think you might need some damage for this. Uh, don't make too much noise, Raptor. Don't do that. I'm gonna give my position away. Let me just get rid of some stuff and then I'm gonna have to deal with that off the plural one way or another. Uh, I, I could. Okay. Um, let me chuck these in here. Okay, I am ready. Uh, now I'm ready. I'm gonna do this naked. Because I'm that brave. Alright, where is that silly thing? It was around my base. I heard it. It's not there. That's fine. Let's find that silly thing. That is really scary. Excuse me. Let me just have a little squeeze of your butt. There you go. Thank you for that. And, uh, okay. You are the bloody Moralotops. Meaning, I'm guessing that the Arthropleura will not be too far from my base. Come on, Moralotops. I need your meat. Give me your meat. Give me, 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 give me. Meet me, meet me, meet me, meet me. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Die, 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 die. Ooh, okay. I am not sure what that highlight means. That is new to me. There we go. Now. The Morellotops was being chased, I'm assuming, by the Arthropleura. That's why it was bloody. Oh, because I have not seen anything hostile apart from this raptor that tried to jump me um, in this area. So, I'm guessing it should be somewhere around here. Let's see, let's see, let's see... I suppose on the bright side, if I do kill the Arthropleura, because uh, there is a chance that my raptor might die. There you are. Um, yeah, nah, mm -hmm. Let's do this, let's do this, let's do this. Get it, bite this butt, bite this butt, get it, get it, get a raptor. Oh, I am doing so little damage. Get it, raptor, get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh, hello. Oh, he's facing me. Oh, 45. Okay, he, okay. Uh, I suppose I've got a few bites ahead of him, on him. <laughs> I keep getting to tell. How is it biting me with its tail? That does not make sense. Okay. Just just stay around its butt. We are taking damage really badly. Uh, okay. Raptor's getting hit. Tail Master 5000. Come on. You can do this. Come on. Come on. Oh boy. I'm getting hurt. So does the highlight mean that a creature is near dead? What does the highlight mean? Okay. Well, we are really hurt. I think it's time for Tay Master 5000 to have a break and maybe heal up and then uh, maybe I should go out and do some exploring, maybe. Okay, so I want to explore the area around me just to get my bearing. Oh, right. Procopdon fighting a scorpion. That is a new one to me. I want the Titan off the scorpion, though. And I've upset the Procopdon as well. Brilliant. Uh, this is exactly what I did not want to happen, but that's fine. Okay. The cop non is supposed to be running away from me. He's supposed to be a coward. Come on, Kanga. You and Rue. You and Rue. This is me. Come on, then. Come on, then. We need the poo right here to save you. Come on. That's it, Kanga. You and Rue. You and Rue against me. Come on. That's it. Who's going to win? You silly, silly thing. Why are you fighting me? I don't want you. Uh, hello? <laughs> okay. Got it. Well, run away, Rue. I killed Kanga. There you go. And well, we got a ton of stuff. So over here is a scorpion. I would like to try and get its chitin because that would be useful in the future. I feel like if I get down there, I'm not going to be able to get back out. So for that reason, Tame Master 5000, I think we're best where we are. Maybe we just ignore it before we do something stupid. What do you think? Yeah, I've gained some levels here, so let me give you some health. And I think we just move on. Okay. Let's go towards the purple light. I feel like that would be... A, mm, okay, it's coming down. Yeah, I feel like that would be a good place to be right now. So hopefully something good comes of this. And I'm really hoping here that I am not going to end up killing you. Because uh, if I do that, I'll end up killing myself for sure. If you die, Time Master 5000, I'm for sure not going to survive. 
<laughs> I have next to nothing to survive with. Let's see. Alright, a few things here. Um, also a bit useless. Maybe that might be useful. Okay, so stone and metal structures will cook me alive, so I don't want that. Alright, um, I suppose I could take a few of these things. Yeah. Now, that, that, I mean, it wasn't half bad. It could have been better, though. Alright, let's move on. Let's go find something else to look at. So, I'm getting a bit thirsty here. And hungry. I'm definitely hungry, so I'm hoping that these berries will kind of raise my hunger level. Ooh, hello there. Hello, pretty. Let me have a closer look at you. Alright, you're yeah, not that bad. Uh, I am struggling with the idea that you are high level like this. You used to be only level 1, but... Uh, tell you what, let me just bop you over the head a couple of times, make friends with you that way. Go on, go down, go down. Sleepy, sleepy time, sleep. Oh, you're looking... Alright, you're not even bothered about it. I guess you want to be my friend. Oh, Alright, down you go. I do not have the good stuff with me. Darn it, it's gonna have to be berries. Oh boy. Well, I'll tell you what, you have the berries. Okay, let me see. I guess I'm going to have to guard you until you are tamed. That means, uh, oh boy, yeah, I'm also thirsty as well. That's uh, not a good combination. Do I have, though? I might have some... Uh... Ooh, weather's changing. There are definitely quite a few jabos around here by the sounds of it. I haven't yet seen a super heat, but I feel like if I were to have faced off a super heat, that would have probably killed me, Tame Master 5000. Uh, so I, I am grateful for that. And I don't want to pick a fight with the Morano Tops. Not next to the Jerboa. Okay. Well, there's a red drop there. I would for sure like that. Okay, so maybe I think about it. What are you doing? Hey, dude, you're standing on my jerboa. Oh, I'm thirsty. Oh, oh, that sound. I'm worried about. Okay, well, I think there we go. That's it. I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. Okay. All right, let me pick you up. Ooh. Okay, you got some nice clothes on your ear. I'll take. I'll tell you. Ah, right. Let's go. Ooh, that is a very interesting tint. To the world. I might need to gamble down a tad bit. Okay, so I guess it's time to let the Adobe conversion begin. I have a good amount of clay that I've gathered and other such resources. I feel like the best place to start is with the foundations. Although, in honesty, the foundations do cost a decent amount of resources. Hmm. Maybe I could go with the walls and I could build more walls because they cost fewer resources. But I feel like if the foundation is weak, then everything will come crumbling down, which I don't want. So, foundations, I guess it is, isn't it? Not my choice there. Okay. It's nice and quiet outside. I like that. I like the quietness. And we've got a nice sunset coming on. The other thing I'm going to need will be some metal. I have no idea where to find metal, and uh, but I, I'm, I'm going to need some metal. So, I don't know. I do remember a good place where I think metal was back in the day, so I'm hoping that that particular thing has not changed. But to get there, it would be a pain. And I would probably benefit from having a flying mount. So, let's place down these foundations. I'm going to do the outer foundations first. Because that is kind of what we're after. Let's do the outer foundation. There you go. Oop. Okay, it ran out of stuff. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> All that clay, this is all that got me. 
Yeah, something's better than nothing. It looks nicer and smoother. I like it better than the thatch. And might as well do some exploring around here. So this cliff around me, or right next to me, does not have any metal nodes. Um, I know the cliff next to the green obelisk was a good metal zone. So that is probably where I might be looking at moving. Hey, raptor! Hey, 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 hey. Hey, you are quite level, high level. Um, does that mean I can take your baby if I kill you? That is very tempting, you know. That is really tempting. Down you go. Go. That's it. Let me harvest you. Hey, hey, come back here. Come back here. No, no. No, no, no. Don't run away. I won't kill you. Nope. Stop. There you go. 75. Uh, hmm. I suppose you will do. You can be cannon fodder. <laughs> yeah. I suppose cannon fodder will be helpful if we ever do find a run into problems. There's some meat there for you. I suppose we'll have to do... Okay. Okay, uh, playing too many other games right now. So, uh, let me see. So we do have salt here, which is good. Although, right now, I don't really need any salt. But if and when it's time to use salt, I know where it's at. Let's get this guy back to base. Hold on a bit, I saw something. There you go, come here. No, 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 come here. Uh, 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 where'd you go? There you are. Come here. Come with me. There you go. Alright, we've got two raptors. That is good. Uh, be it that they are small, so I'll have to raise them. But I'm hoping that these dudes will make some good cannon fodder for me. And it's a, it's a beginning. Uh, I can have a raptor pack now. Okay, let me have a look here. Oh, things are getting bad. I need uh, some water. Oh, hello. Okay. Let me get some water from here because that is not good. I don't want to faint. Okay, I guess I'm going to have to take shelter in the base. It's not a good place to be outside. And uh, we've got this little Jerboa right here as well. I accidentally killed its parents, so I had to adopt it. And uh, we just wait the weather out in here. Try and put some stuff in here. I did manage, though, to loot a few loot drops that were near me. I'm making a start on that. I, I've noticed that loot drops are very decent, so... Definitely, for sure, that is going to be something. Loot drop hunting will be something that I'll be looking forward to. I have also got a spare set of desert gear. Uh, let me see. There we go. That's it. There's your imprint. Oh, I'm heavy. <laughs> Let's get this raptor in the base. Come on, get in. Get in. That's it. What have we got? I'll take that and that and that. Okay. So these are some more things I found in loot drops, which does make my life easier. I think we should get a new door put down. That is for sure. I want the double doors and I'll have or give some room here for Tame Master 5000. I mean, you can get through just fine through a single door, which is uh, new to me. I feel like in the old game, Raptors couldn't get through it. Or, I mean, I didn't really specifically try to see if that is a thing, but uh, for now. It does appear like raptors can get through single doors. Uh, that is something to take note of. I think I'll do the one above. Okay. And uh, that is pretty much it. Let's put a door down. Like that. There we go. It's starting to look more and more like a home. 
<laughs> Not just a house, it's also a home. I think we're gonna take a bit of a chill for now. Uh, Tame Master 5000, wait this out, and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens with the crack of the next day, eh? Let's put you here for now. Let's park you nice and neatly. There we go.